Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here on YouTube, of course, my name is John Campia. I am your host. And we're here today with this special live video to talk about a new story that just came out while promoting the upcoming Justice League film, which we are all very excited about. One of, of course, the big leads in Justice League is this man right here, the best Batman to ever be on screen, in my opinion, at least at any rate. Ben Affleck. Now, there's been a lot of stuff going on over the past year about will Ben Affleck be back as Batman after this? Does he want out? All this kind of stuff. I told you guys a long time ago that Ben Affleck does indeed want out of the Batman role. A lot of denials, a lot of people getting angry at me for saying things like that. Well, here is a quote. This is what everything that's going on today is about. The USA Today during all the promotion of Justice League, did this big story on Justice League and how they got this whole film together. In that piece that the USA Today did, and you can see it, it's online right now, they also spoke to Ben Affleck and talked to Ben Affleck about the possibility of him, Ben Affleck, being in Matt Reeves' upcoming standalone Batman films. Now, of course, you remember back at Comic-Con, the Hollywood Reporter, the day before the Justice League panel happened, the Hollywood Reporter put out a report that said this. This is directly from the Hollywood Reporter. And they said, the studio, Warner Brothers, is working on plans to usher out Affleck's Batman gracefully, as a source says, addressing the change in some shape or form in one of the upcoming DC films. Now, that report came out. That was back in, I believe, June or July 21st. Now, I said when that came out that, hey guys, tomorrow at the Justice League panel, they have to deny this. Warner Brothers has to deny this. And of course, then the panel happened and Ben Affleck came out and said, what are you talking about? I'm Batman forever. Yeah, I'll be Batman as long as they want me to Batman, be Batman. Being Batman is the coolest thing in the world. Yay. And you know, remember that? Well, then the other day, um, he was being interviewed in another interview for Justice League. And Ben Affleck, when asked directly by a reporter, can you see yourself doing two more films as Batman? And he kind of went, and you can look up this video online yourself. He goes, uh, I don't know about that. We'll see what the future holds. That is a far cry from, yeah, I'll be Batman as long as they want me to Batman. Being Batman is the coolest effing thing in the world that he did back at Comic-Con, right? Well, now this new story just came out in the USA Today with an interview where they talked to Ben Affleck, and here's the direct quote from Ben Affleck. When asked about the future films and whether he'll be Batman moving forward, this is what this is all about. Here's the quote from the USA Today. The quote in the USA Today says, the new Batman movie being developed by Matt Reeves, director of War of the Planet of the Apes, is, as Ben Affleck says, something I'm contemplating, says Affleck, who was, who was originally tapped to direct the film. You don't do it forever, so I want to find a graceful and cool way to segue out of it. Let's look at that last part again. Now remember, at Comic-Con, I'm going to be Batman as long as they want me to be Batman. To this today, I'm contemplating being involved in the Matt Reeves Batman, but the big part, of course, is the last two lines there. You don't do it forever, so I want to find a graceful and cool way to segue out of it. Now, let's take all this, let's take a deep breath and take all this with a grain of salt. Let's look at some possibilities here besides him wanting out of his Batman, right? Possibility number one, he's just talking stoically. I mean, yeah, maybe there's a chance here. Now, I don't believe this, but hey, let's, let's consider the possibilities. Maybe there's a chance here that, hey, he's just being realistic and being stoic, uh, aware of his own mortality. He's just talking, well, you know, someday I need to leave as Batman, so I want to think of a cool way to segue out of being Batman, dot, 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 sometime five years from now. I mean, maybe he's speaking that way. Clearly, I don't think that's what he's doing, but that's a possibility. There's also another possibility here. I don't think this is it, but it's possible could be that Warner Brothers and Ben Affleck are just trolling everybody. I mean, it's it's possible. Now, I don't think that's what's happening, but it's possible. It could be that, you know, we're all going to see Justice League, and then three days after Justice League, Ben Affleck goes, gotcha, I'm Batman for the next 10 DC movies. I, it's possible. Unlikely, I don't think that's the case, but it's possible. Let's look at the more realistic possibility here, that all along... This whole time, for the past eight months, everything we've been hearing is absolutely true. 
What The Hollywood Reporter said back at Comic-Con was absolutely true. All the rumors and speculation were absolutely true. There was a rift between Warner Brothers and Ben Affleck, at least when it comes to the DCEU. There was a rift. Ben Affleck wanted to write and direct the Batman film. They removed him off of that. They got Matt Reeves coming here. They put out some story about Ben Affleck just wanted to focus on the acting in the movie. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Remember when everybody bought that story? And I told people, guys, do not they're just PR spinning this. But everybody bought that story. When they announced that they had removed Ben Affleck as director, they put out this BS story that was, oh, no, ben, uh, ben just wanted to step back just so he could focus on the acting. Ben didn't want to have to direct and act in it. He wanted to focus on the directing or on the acting. He just wanted to purely focus on the acting. Really? Then how come right now he's just saying, I'm contemplating being in the movie? How do you go from, oh, no, 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 I stepped down as the director just because I wanted to focus 100% of my attention on acting in the movie. And now he's just contemplating being in the movie? So, look, it is possible, one, that Ben is just speaking stoically. It is possible. I don't believe so, but it's possible. Number two, Ben and Warner Brothers are pulling the ultimate troll on DC fans, and they're going to surprise everybody with some big grand announcement after Justice League comes out that he's going to be Batman for like the next five films or something. Again, I don't believe that's the case, but it is certainly a possibility, and I got to admit, how cool would that be? That would be pretty ballsy of Warner Brothers and Ben Affleck if they did that and they came out and said, gotcha, I, I don't think it's what they're doing. But come on, tell me that wouldn't put a smile on your face and have all of us collectively going, ah, okay, you guys got us. You got That would be pretty damn cool, right? Again, I don't think that's the case. I think the most likely scenario here, and I think this new interview and comments from Ben Affleck pretty much confirm that all the rumors, everything we've been hearing, where there's smoke, there's fire, this whole time, it's always been the case. A long time ago, a separation happened between Warner Brothers and Ben Affleck when it came to the Batman stuff. And Ben Affleck is leaving as Batman. Now, I've said this whole time that I 100% believe that 100% believe there's a 50-50 chance. That's stupid. I do totally believe that there is still a 50-50 chance Ben Affleck does do one more film as Batman after Justice League. I've said that from the beginning. I still believe it's a 50-50 chance. That 50-50 chance sounds like it could be getting smaller and smaller with him going like, are you going to do two more films as Batman, Ben? And Ben goes, I don't know about that. Let's see what the future holds. And now this comment again, let me bring this up one more time. You don't want to do it forever. So I want to find a graceful and cool way to segue out of it. Why would you be saying things like this three days before the opening of Justice League. Like, I've always said, they're going to deny this story about Ben Affleck wanting to leave Batman until at least Justice League is open. You have to open Justice League. You can't have these sorts of comments and rumors and talk going around when the movie is open. You can't do it. Why Ben is saying things like this now, like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be Batman for that much longer, and things like, oh, I'm looking for a cool way to segue out of the role. This is not the time to be making these sorts of comments. This isn't going to help the story. Now, listen, I got a few more things to say about this, but for those of you who are watching me live right now, and I know there's almost like 1,500 of you guys watching live right now, the important thing here is I want to know what your take on all this is. So I'm going to want to, in a few minutes, I'm going to start taking your live comments on this. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions and your point of view on this whole Ben Affleck story. I want you to start tweeting to me at John Campia to start sending in your comments and thoughts. And in a, just a couple of minutes here, I'm going to go to the live chat board and I'm going to pull up what your guys' live commentary is because I want to hear from you and what you guys think. Is he just speaking stoically? Is this a big troll? I still think that would be gold. I still think that would be awesome if this ends up being a troll. Because let's face it, we all want Ben Affleck back as Batman. Or number three, is the most likely scenario here, yeah, his days as Batman are done. Or at least numbered, or at least coming to an end here. How do you see all this? And again, it just points to this whole thing. Guys, we have to, as movie fans, understand that sometimes studios, and I don't blame Warner Brothers one bit now, I believe that whole press release about, oh, the only reason Ben's not directing Batman now is because he wants to focus on the acting. I said from the beginning, that was BS. That was all market spin. That was total PR spin. But I don't blame Warner Brothers for that because that was the right, from a business point of view, 
That, I believe, was the right thing to do. You don't come out and start talking about all the problems your movie's having when you've got this giant blockbuster of a film in Justice League coming out in December. Or in November, I should say. You can't do that. I said right from the beginning, even before the Justice League panel at Comic-Con, they have to deny the Hollywood Reporter story. You have to. You have to come out. They have to come out on that platform tomorrow, and they have to deny it. You must. If I was the head of Warner Brothers, I'd be telling them, deny this story. We'll let everything come out after Justice League comes out, fine. But until Justice League comes out, we cannot let this be the narrative. So, Ben Affleck comes out, does his duty. He's out there, I'm going to be Batman as long as they want me to be Batman. Being Batman's the coolest thing in the world. And again, let me bring this up one more time now. I'm contemplating being in the standalone movie. And I'm looking for a cool way to segue out of it. Completely different narratives from then until now. But anyway, really, the important thing here is, I mean, I've spoken enough about this at this point. The important thing now here is hearing from you guys. What do you think about this whole situation? I'm going to go to Twitter right now, and we're going to go to you guys who are live. These are live tweets coming in right now. And the first tweet I'm going to here is from Kevin Wright 7, who writes, John, I believe Ben wanted to leave the role of Batman since his film Live by Night bombed. I mean, I, I honestly don't know if the, the failure of Live by Night, and I didn't think that was an awful movie, by the way, um, but I, I don't know that the failure of Live By Night was the impetus for that. I think there are some behind-the-scenes things. This is just my thought. This is, this is not me giving any insider information. This is just my, my belief from looking at the situation. I believe he had some personal issues. I believe there was some conflict between him and Warner, Runner Brothers. Remember, Ben Affleck was supposed to write and direct the standalone Batman movie. Suddenly, they threw out a script, and suddenly he's not directing it. And I believe that was the first sign... That's something behind the scenes. So I, I don't know. It is, you're not the only one though who thinks that maybe it was the whole live by night thing that maybe soured him on that. And maybe you're right. It's not my point of view, but you might be right on that. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the next comment. Or again, these are live tweets coming in from you guys. Uh, Rasmus Tritsitz writes, John, what do you think is the main reason why Batman wants to get out of, why Ben Affleck wants to get out of being Batman? I can't say for certain, obviously. But I, I look... There have been a lot of whispers around that Warner Brothers, first of all, Ben having issues with Warner Brothers with, you know, interference and not going with his script and him as director. Again, I am not, this is not inside information. This is just me looking at the situation and, and telling you what I see and just what I speculate on this, okay? This is not insider information. Let me be clear about that. But there was some, you know, some conflict, some some issues with from Ben about him you know, really being able to do his Batman movie. There are some issues out there. There's some words that, you know, Ben very publicly, he came public with it. He had some substance abuse issues and that Warner Brothers at that point decided there were too many other issues connected to that and they wanted to part ways with Ben. So I've heard things about Ben wanting to be the reason to end this relationship. I've heard that Warner Brothers is the thing that wants to end the relationship. The real reasons behind it are things we'll probably never know. Our things we'll probably never know. I think like 80% of things in life, it's probably, the truth is probably somewhere in between those two things. That's probably where the truth lies, but we'll probably never know the actual facts behind that. Uh, let's see. The next tweet comes to us from Ken Jordan 25 who writes, John, I love Ben, but at this point, I wonder if it's best for him to go so we can just be fresh, positive, and moving forward in a new direction. I believe that totally. I completely agree with you. Not just for the DC Cinematic Universe. You can't have, this is very much like sports. You can't have a coach who you know is going to get fired any day now. Just keep coaching for a few more weeks. You know, that's bad for the team. It doesn't help anything. I think it would, number one, be best for the DCEU. If Ben is leaving, don't do that one more film he has on that contract. Like, I still think there's a 50-50 chance he does one more. But if he's leaving, then just cut the cord now let DC start to move on in its new direction with a new Batman and let Ben get on with doing the other things Ben does so well, which is being one of the best directors in the business right now, one of the best filmmakers in the business right now. Let him move on to his other projects. And he's got another pro he's got a project lined up with Sony right now that everybody's really excited about. So I agree with you. If this is true, and if he is leaving, and we can't emphasize that word if enough, but if it's all this is true, I think the sooner the better. I think once Justice League is done two or three weeks at the box office and it's made most of its money, make the announcement, 
we've got a new Batman and just move on in another direction. So we'll see how that all plays out. Um, let's see. Uh, LACF says, John, people care way too much about Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, no, they don't. Not really. Um, let's see. The next one comes to us from Jordan Solis writes, John, maybe he's saying this so that Warner Brothers gives him a Robert Downey Jr. type of deal to stay. I, you're not the only person who suggested that, that maybe Ben Affleck is just publicly playing hardball to get a Robert Downey Jr. kind of money. Here's the problem. Ben Affleck, who has been in this industry his whole life, he knows he's not in the same position that Robert Downey Jr. was in when he negotiated his deal for Iron Man. This is a very different set of circumstances. Ben Affleck, as much as I think he is the best thing in the DC, well, I don't know, Henry Cavill is a hell of a Superman too. So, but, but Ben Affleck is probably the best Batman we've ever had on screen. I think Warner Brothers probably knows we don't have to have it be Ben Affleck in order for the DCU to be successful. Marvel was in a position where they kind of felt at that time, we need Robert Downey Jr. in order for our MCU to be successful. I don't think Warner Brothers is in that position. I think Warner Brothers is in a position right now where they're like, it would be good to have Ben Affleck here, but we don't need Ben Affleck for the DCEU to be successful. And by the way, that's one of the things that I've been trying to say to my friends who are really big DC fans is like, look, if Ben Affleck does leave, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, he's the best Batman we've ever had, but it's not the end of the world. They will get somebody else who is great. Warner Brothers will go out and get somebody else who is great and we will have a good Batman again. It's not all reliant on Ben Affleck, even though Ben Affleck, I believe, is the best we've ever had. The DCEU will go on without him, and I think they'll be okay. And that's why Warner Brothers wouldn't give him a Robert Downey Jr. kind of deal, and that's why I don't think Ben Affleck is looking for that. It's an interesting perspective, and again, you're not the only one who thinks that. Uh, let's move on here. Next one comes to us from Jay Sadvev0803, writes, John, would love Ben Affleck back as Batman. He is the only Batman where I felt Batman was the identity and Bruce Wayne was the cover. I absolutely believe that. You guys have heard me talk about that before. That, in my opinion, the, the, the thing that makes Ben Affleck's portrayal as Batman the best I've ever seen is that in his performance, Ben is the first actor I've seen truly emote the fact that Bruce Wayne is the mask. Like with Flash, the, the, the red thing, that's the mask. With Green Arrow, the hood and the mask is the mask. He's really Oliver Queen. He's really Barry Allen. Batman is different. Bruce Wayne died that night in the alley when his parents died. For all intents and purposes, Bruce Wayne died and the Batman was born. And ever since then, Bruce Wayne has been the mask. Yeah, they talk about that in the Christopher Nolan Batman films, which are awesome with Christian Bale. They kind of give lip service to that. But I've never seen an actor truly capture that that tortured soul, Batman, is the real person and that Bruce Wayne is the mask. A lot of other actors have given me the other way around. And if you really know Batman, you know that's the core of his character. And that's why I love that he's done that. So I completely, I completely agree with you on that. Okay, let's move on to the next live tweet. The next live tweet comes to us from Mick Adamini22, writes, John, it's baffling that he'd say this now, three days before Justice League opens. I wonder how this would have played out if it were a little bit later. I Look, I agree. I agree with you. It is concerning um, to me that, look, I believe this has been the game plan all along. You know that. That's been my belief. And maybe I'm wrong. But my belief has been this has been the game plan all along. Deny, 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 deny until after the movie opens. If I was Ben Affleck's buddy, and I'm not, I wish I was, <laughs> but if I was Ben Affleck's buddy, I'd be telling Ben, you, you can't say this stuff now. Keep doing the PR until after the movie opens. If some reporter asks you, can you do two more movies? Don't say, oh, I don't know about that. Say, oh yeah, I'm looking forward to it at least until after the movie opens. I know that's being deceitful. I know, but this is business. This is business. If somebody asks you, hey, is your future doing these Matt Reeves movies? Don't say, well, I'm contemplating. I'm looking for a cool way to segue out. Ben, buddy, don't say that now. Say that in two weeks. Nothing is stopping you from saying that in two weeks. Don't say that now because this could negatively affect the movie now. Because look, Idiots like me right now, we're talking about Ben Affleck leaving as Batman instead of talking about how awesome it is that Justice League is just three days away. That's where their narrative should be, 
not on Batman leaving. So I do wish he kind of had, had saved this until a little bit later. Hey, look, he's been acting like a champ. If all this is true and he is leaving, he has been a big team player and taking this like a champ for the past eight months and putting on the right public face and saying the right things. Yeah, I'm Batman for as long as they want me to be Batman. He's been doing that for eight months. Maybe he's just getting tired. Maybe he's just getting tired. Uh, let's see. Let's check this out. This one comes from Rob Irvine Jr. who writes, John, makes absolutely no difference. Batman the character takes precedence over any actor. Just recast a baby. And you know what? I completely agree. The, the character comes before the actor. It doesn't matter if it's the best guy who's ever played the role. In this case, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck will move on and he'll do great things in his career and the DC will move on and they will do great things with the Batman character. Uh, it, I'm not going to say it makes no difference. It does make a difference. This is an issue, but long term, I think the DCU will be just fine if Ben leaves and they bring in another great actor as long as it's a great actor, then they'll be fine. All right, I got t kind, uh, uh, time to take a few more here. This is pretty active. The chat board is really active. This is all something we clearly want to talk about. All right, let's take the next one here. Uh, BC Hardercar writes, John, do you think that one day we will get a Batman movie where Batman is the world's best detective? I, honestly, I think that's what Matt Reeves is going for. If I understand his commentary right, I think Matt Reeves is really going for the detective angle. Like, you still got to have action. You still got to have Batman being the biggest badass on the planet. But within that, really explore that he's the world's greatest detective and go on that angle. And, and I think they will. I really do. I think they're going to go for that sort of a thing. All right. Uh, let's see. This one comes to us from Anthony Trupa, Trupia, who writes, John, so soon in the DCEU, I wouldn't want to recast a Batman. Rather, Bruce Wayne should pass the torch and maybe Nightwing becomes Batman. Um, look, recasting is, look, everybody seems to feel like, Oh no, recasting and the sky will fall and audiences will be confused. And I, I just disagree with that, you know? I think, again, I always pour to it. Look at the Harry Potter franchise. A big, important character, Dumbledore, right? The actor passes away, so they need to recast. And they recast him and a new actor came in. Boom, the audience was completely on board with it and had no problem with it. And they adjusted and there wasn't big, massive confusion, you know, Eggs didn't fall from the sky and dogs and cats didn't start living together. It was fine. And I agree with you. I would like to see our Batman be Batman for at least three, four or five films, but it's not the end of the world. If this happens and if Ben Affleck leaves, this isn't the end of the world. I think it'll be okay. And I think, look, I'm cool with Army Hammer coming in as Dick Grayson and saying he was Nightwing and he's been off in Bloodhaven doing his thing and now he comes in and Ben Affleck passes the mantle to him and Dick Grayson's our new Batman. It's happened a lot in the comics. Dick Grayson's has put on that cowl a number of times to be the new Batman. Um, so I'd be fine with that, but I still think recasting is probably the most logical thing to do. Uh, let's see. Uh, Odinsor 2 writes, John, who would you cast as the new Batman for Matt Reeves' trilogy? Honestly, anybody who's a really good actor. That's it. That's my only criteria. Make sure it's somebody who's a good actor. Now, for those of you who are joining us live right now, because we're doing this live at the moment, for those of you who are joining us live and wondering, wait a minute, what's all this stuff going about? I'm just going to remind you, this all comes from today, a new story in the USA Today where they spoke with Ben Affleck, who made some comments about his future, and basically it's the last two lines we're focusing on. Ben said, you don't do it forever, so I want to find a graceful and cool way to segue out of it. He's talking about his role as Batman. And also talking about how he's not a sure thing for being in Matt Reeves' Batman. He's saying he's contemplating being in Matt Reeves' movie, which again is a far cry from what he said a few months ago about, yeah, I'm Batman, I'm Batman. Well, now he's contemplating it. Um, so this is what this whole discussion is about for those of you who are just joining us late. Uh, let's see. Next one comes to us from Movies Mega, who writes, John, if they kill off Ben Affleck's Batman, will the fans give up on the DCEU? Also, who could you even see replacing him? Again, any good solid actor is fine with me. Would the fans give up on the DCEU? No. No, the fans wouldn't give up on the DCEU. As much as Batman is the most important character in the DCEU, he is still one character. And if they kill him off, it's a comic book movie, baby. You can bring back Bruce Wayne next movie. It's no problem. Or you have somebody else coming in and take up the mantle of the bat. It's not a problem. It's really, honestly, I don't feel like that would be a problem with all. I believe the fans of the DCEU, who are most of us out there, I think would still hang in there with it. I think it would be okay. 
Uh, let's see. Next one comes us from Paul X157 writes, John would be disappointing to see Ben leave without ever sharing a scene with Jared Leto. I agree. Look, I'm one of the few people out there because I know even a lot of DCEU fans didn't like the Jared Leto uh, Joker incarnation. I did. I thought Jared Leto was a great Joker. I thought he was terribly underused and not used the right way in Suicide Squad. But I thought Jared Leto gave us a Joker that was still at his core the Joker, but still completely different from any other on-screen Joker incarnation we'd ever seen. And I really dug it. I loved the direction they were going with it. And I was dying to see a Ben Affleck, Jared Leto, Batman Joker movie. I was looking forward to it, but it looks less and less like that's the case. Uh, let's see. Uh, John Smee, 2080, 7211. John, what if they are trolling us? That's exactly what I said at the beginning of this broadcast. I think, unlikely, and I wouldn't put money on this, clearly, but I think there is a possibility. I think there is a chance here that at the bottom of all this, and I, at the bottom of all this is Warner Brothers and Ben Affleck pulling a, the biggest punk on the movie fans ever orchestrated. I think there is a possibility. And if it is, I'm going to love it. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to absolutely love it. I will eat it up. I would love nothing more because I've been saying forever, Ben is going to be leaving as Batman. I would love nothing more than to find out that behind the scenes over the past four or five months that Warner Brothers and Ben Affleck patched up their differences and they've got a big plan for like five more films and they said, hey guys, let's let's have Ben like kind of pretend like he's really over the Batman thing and then after Justice League comes out, make this big announcement. How awesome would that be? Seriously. I know some people are, are thinking that's, that would be stupid. I see some of you guys in the comment section thinking, no good. I think it would be awesome. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. I think it would be genius. And I think it's a, a move that we would be talking about in film history forever if they did that. Again, though, I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's what's happening. But oh my God, how awesome would that be if that was it on so many different levels? Uh, let's see. Time for a couple more and then we'll wrap this one up, guys. ADG9351 says, John, could having this come out now get more people to go out to see the film on opening day? Uh, I don't know if something like this would get more people going to see it. I think it might risk having less people. Um, but ultimately, it'll be a bump in the road. It'll be a bump. It'll be a bump either way. Uh, I don't think it's going to affect it too negatively one way or the other. Uh, let's try this one. This one comes from uh, Zuri Beck 13 writes, John, I don't have much problem since he's not directing it. I was mostly looking forward to that. Love Argo to death. You and me both, brother. Look, I was still excited to see Ben Affleck play Batman. What I really wanted was a Batman movie directed by a massive Batman freak like Ben Affleck, who is one of the best directors in the business right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He stumbled a little bit with Live By Night, but Gone Baby Gone, um, Argo, The Town, like, like he was three for three. And like with good, gritty, deep characters with wonderfully convoluted backgrounds and all this I, He's that what I was most looking for, even though I think Ben is the best on screen Batman we've ever had. What I was most looking for, looking forward to, is a Ben Affleck directed Batman film. That's the part that got my heart pumping, was that. And I was really disappointed when I found out that he wasn't going to be directing it. And then they threw his script away as well. And now it looks like he might not even be Batman anymore after Justice League. Again, I still think there's a 50 50 chance. But that's where we're at right now. Anyway, guys, that will do it for uh, this little quick special video talking about this whole issue here about Ben Affleck, these latest comments from him. Ultimately, guys, jump into the comments section. What are your thoughts? Do you think, like I think, there's a possibility he could just be, you know, talking somberly? Do you think there's a possibility this could be a giant troll? Or do you think, like I believe, the more likely scenario is everything we've been hearing for the past eight months is true and he's probably wrapping it up as Batman, but leave me your thoughts. And if so, do you think the DCU can survive this? Do you think the DCU, like I believe, will be just fine? It's okay. Do you think it could be bigger trouble than that? I want to hear your perspectives. Jump into the comments section below and leave me your thoughts. Listen, guys, while you're here, click the thumbs up button on this video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you're following me on social media. You can follow me on Facebook and on Twitter and all that kind of stuff just by following me at John Campia. That'll do it for me for now, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is John Campia, and until next time, Bye-bye.